Holy Dean is live in De Pere with more. I don't know, we hear about organizing and it kind of, oh, do I have to do it? But you have yeah. some great tips there, Em. It really is. You think about it and you're like, I don't want to go through all my cupboards. I don't want to look through all my closets and clean them out. But trust me, you'll be so much happier if you do that. And another thing that'll make you happy if you get one of these, Rachel and Pete, a label maker, it really is a lifesaver when you're looking to organize. Becky Bristol's here with me. We're in her home. She's a stay-at-home mom, a mom of four, four kids under the age of 12. So you're a busy woman, mm -hmm. but you're very organized. We're in your kitchen, one of the spots that people have a hard time with. Tell me about what you've done with your pantry to make it easy for your family. Well, um, I take things out of their original containers for the most part, or I take the tops off of things so that you can reach in and um, grab things easier. Uh, go vertical with your space. Don't just put everything um, right at one level because you're wasting a lot of valuable space there. Put things where the kids can reach it if you want them to reach it. And I like how you, you package some things. So like goldfish, you get mm -hmm. a big container. Look what she's done with this. How easy that to grab and go? We prepackage a lot of our things or reuse containers. Um, I even pre-make packets of my pancake mix and all that kind of thing just to make it easier for myself in the morning. Why don't we show that because you also label the stuff down here. Your cereal is labeled and here's mm -hmm. that pancake mix. You've also labeled it that you can just throw it in there and see how much you need for eggs and yes. milk. Really simple. Let's talk about your pots and pans that you need to store, but what we have up here for people to look at. Okay. Um, well, I, it's really hard, I think, to all the different cookware things that you might have um, to store them without them chipping or having to adjust a bunch of things. So for me, if I just have to move one thing, I'm really okay with that. Yeah. But what I got um, to put back here were these upright um, kind of stands, and so I can put all of my um, baking dishes like that and um, it kind of makes space of that really deep cupboard. Yeah, let's close these up to show people what you have below because you have a lot of you know cupboards in here and you're making good use of these pull-out drawers. We put these in um, anything, any of the drawers where we have like pots and pans or anything like that. It just makes it so easy to get exactly what you need without having to pull everything out of the cupboard. And your husband installed those. He did. In really a, quick. About an hour. Yeah. Over here, just really quick, I want to show you. Look at all those recipe books, how organized that is. But I love the cork on the side. These are just um, something, again, we just picked up at Target. And um, on the back, it just has a little sticky and, you know, little reminders, different things like that. Awesome stuff. And can I show you? This is her. She said, Emily, this is my junk drawer. Are you kidding me, Becky? That is the best looking junk drawer I have ever seen. So really great tips, really helpful. We're going to have some other tips for you today, so you won't want to go anywhere. We'll send it back to you for now. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. I did my junk drawer. Look like that for a day. Yeah, I One know day, and mean. then it was junky yeah. again. Yeah.